Welcome to Royal Secrets. After Meghan Markle compared herself to Nelson Mandela in a Tone Deaf magazine interview, Carl Stefanovic and Ally Langdon rip her to pieces. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Meghan Markle was made fun of by Today anchor Carl Stefanovic on Tuesday after she compared herself to Nelson Mandela in a recent interview with The Cut magazine. A cast member of The Lion King allegedly told the former Suits actress, 41, that South Africans had danced in the street after she married Prince Harry, just like they had done when Mandela was released from prison in 2019. While chatting to Tracy Vo, a reporter for Nine in London, Stefanovic, 48, who has never been afraid to criticize Meghan, laughed incredulously at Markle's assertions. With the Mandela comparisons in particular, it's difficult to see how that would go over with the royal family, he said, to which his co-host Alison Langdon responded, that one, I feel, is tone deaf. Mandela served 27 years in prison for his opposition to the apartheid system in South Africa. After being freed, he assisted in negotiating the end of apartheid and went on to become South Africa's first democratically elected leader. Later, Stefanovic jokingly said, I think Meghan is probably a little misunderstood, don't you reckon, while seeming to be sympathetic. The 43-year-old Langdon, whose dislike of the Sussexes is well known, grinned and said, oh, you're changing your tune, are you, Carl yes, I believe it is time to back her, especially in light of Mandela's remarks. I think it's reasonable for anyone to compare themselves to Mandela, he exclaimed, breaking out in laughter. Langdon responded, rolling her eyes, even if it was mentioned to reveal that anyway, they're living their peaceful life, as they desired. It happens at a time when Meghan's interview with The Cut, a division of New York magazine, is still drawing criticism. Prior to resigning as active royals and relocating to North America, she said in it that she and Prince Harry were glad to leave Britain and were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy just by existing. She further asserted that the pair did not reinvent the wheel when they requested financial freedom. Although none of these royals were mentioned in the article, Meghan reportedly highlighted a handful of princes and princesses and dukes who have the very setup they desired. The interview was made public following reports that Harry and Meghan won't meet the Queen at Balmoral during their visit to Britain next week due to a persistent security dispute. Additionally, it was released only a few days after Meghan complained on her brand new Spotify podcast about having to continue engagements while on a royal tour of South Africa due to a fire in her son Archie's bedroom. In a conversation with tennis great Serena Williams, the Duchess also lashed out at those who criticized her for being ambitious when she began dating hair. Furious Dr. Shola urges Charles to support Meghan as the future king receives a significant honor. Prince Charles was the target of Dr. Shola Mo's latest Shogbamimu's attack on a member of the royal family. After learning that the future king served as a guest editor at The Voice, the sole black national newspaper in Britain, the commentator questioned the future king's trustworthiness. Prince Charles, according to Dr. Shola, would have been a more credible choice if he had supported Meghan Markle and lead by example on race-related issues. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's self-described fan noted that the position had not drawn criticism like Meghan received for editing Vogue. Prince Charles editing The Voice, the sole national black British newspaper, reeks of performative white allyship. Dr. Shola wrote on Twitter to her 156,200 followers. He would be believable if he had set an example on racial issues and supported Meghan Markle. The Voice, a national black British daily published in the UK since 1982, is the only one of its kind. According to Clarence House, Charles's edit commemorates a few of the black community's accomplishments from the previous four decades and documents his long-standing partnership with black leaders. It is rumored to touch on issues such as faith, the arts, education, climate change, and community harmony. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates.